Well, hello everybody, and welcome to our Disney Cruise Trip Recap Coffee Chat. It's that, a big title. Yeah, <laughs> it is. But uh, we're kind of doing a little this trip recap a little bit differently because mm -hmm. we asked you some questions on Instagram. Mm -hmm. You guys delivered as always, yeah. and so we're going to answer questions while kind of recapping the trip. Exactly. So and drinking coffee. Yeah. Out of our Disney Cruise mugs. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> okay, before we get into the questions, yeah. let's talk about some mugs. We got a new mug, guys. Mm -hmm. Yes. Got this one right here. So cool. It's pretty cool. I love the color. And then it has that right there. The Disney Cruise Line. We talked about it in one of our Day in the Life vlogs, but the the lip of the it lip. is so cozy. It is it, it, like the way so your cozy. lip rests mm -hmm. on the lip is fantastic. It's it just gives one. your lip a rest. It is. Like when does your lip Very get a rest? Restful. Right. So especially this... you because you talk all the time. <laughs> And then I got uh, just our Wonder Cup. They had these on there for the Magic. That was the ship we just got off. But it's literally the same thing, but it says Magic. So we were like, let's do something different. Yeah. So we have so many coffee mugs, so we have to be really careful, I know. or we will we have we'll have to yeah. build another shed with just coffee mugs. Right. Is what will happen. <laughs> it may happen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the first okay. question we have is, with having bad weather days mm -hmm. this last cruise, would you do anything differently next time? Yes. So just to recap, if you haven't seen our cruise vlogs, our first day we had very bad weather. <laughs> like we were first full day. Well, even first, even like leaving, we they canceled the uh, um, whatever it's called sail away party. Yeah, What's that, it called? That, that that sure that sounds. We've great. been on cruises before. It's a <laughs> sail away party. <laughs> but it was yeah in New Orleans. It was mm -hmm. just like crazy, just buckets of rain. So that was embarkation day, and then the next day it was a monsoon. It was mm -hmm. nuts, like leaks everywhere. You can watch our vlog and see Justin got like a shot of the elevator and there's just like water yep. coming in, water leaking at the chandeliers. Like it was interesting. We were mm -hmm. like, hmm, are we going to make it to Mexico? <laughs> yeah, they are. Uh, is, this is the thing, like, because this is kind of like a recap as yeah. well. As far as the ship goes, this ship is going to be dry docked soon. Yeah, I think and it is maybe right now. Maybe I think it is, actually. It was really soon. Yeah, uh, and there's reasons for that. We're mm -hmm. one of the last to experience this ship yeah. before it dry docks in. Mm -hmm. um, and there's reasons for that. There's just a lot of work that needs to be done. It's, you know, the first ship on the fleet. Yep. And uh, it's, I mean, the reality is, is that this, the ship has gone through it. And yeah. So anyway. I need some little love. I need some, yeah. I need <laughs> some, some care. There were some, some definite, definite things that needed some fix and repairs and just some touch up paint and all yeah. that kind of stuff. Um, so it was probably one of the, well, number one, it was the oldest ship we're, we've ever been on. Yeah. Obviously. The like, first one. First one. Mm -hmm. uh, but definitely you can, you, you could tell, like you could tell. Mm -hmm. uh, especially with like Disney standards, it's still there was a, uh, it was beautiful, amazing, but yeah. there was just some things where you're like, huh, this is it's it's ready to get a good bath, right? Kind of a thing. <laughs> uh, anyway, so to answer your question, yeah. would we do anything different? Uh, I don't think we would have. I know. I feel like the day we had it just ended up being perfect for a rainy mm -hmm. day because we started off with Paolo, which that was like a three hour brunch yeah. <laughs> right there. You're all indoors. And we were in that whole like little like, you know, separate room, you yeah. know, and so just looking the out rain. the windows and seeing the rain it was like super cozy. Seeing the chairs blowing yeah. over. <laughs> it was almost like in that moment, like all you'd want to do is eat food. Right. And just watch the rain. Watch so shows, it was, play trivia. It was perfect. I got a massage that day, which mm -hmm. was not planned. I travel days always mess up my neck. And so Justin's like, let's see if we can get you in. And I got a massage, which was really cool. Yeah. Well, we, so, called, we called the day before, I think, when we first got on the cruise, because your neck was, you know, your mm -hmm. neck was kind of jacked. I'm like, well, let's see if we can get you in tomorrow. And yeah. sure enough. Yeah. And honestly, I'm glad we did that because there might have not have been have any space up. just because of, you know, everyone was indoors. Yeah. To answer your question, I don't know. We, this is the thing. We know, like, with vacations, like, there's always going to be something that's not according to plan. And of course, mm -hmm. when you go on a cruise, like especially when it's like, you know, this kind of cruise, you, you expect sun and you want sun and yeah. you want to build a layout and just in kind of in the pool and hang out and mm -hmm. stuff. Uh, but, you know, you're dealing with weather. You just don't know. So I think we, I actually loved it because it forced me to just kind of like relax. Yeah. And there wasn't like, there was just, there was limited things you could do. Mm -hmm. And then it just kind of forced me to just kind of like, we're on vacation kind of let's relax, let's just kind of get in that vacation mode kind right. of thing. And also, the just if you didn't know, the whole pool deck, like, we could not go yeah, out Yeah, they shut down. They shut down. Like, you're like, you could not go on the deck at all. We're like, let's just go get ice cream. Nope. Like, you couldn't get out there. There was no food available. So... It was kind of funny. Actually, there was one thing that was like, 
was hilarious because I, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say I was annoyed by it because I would do the same thing if I was a kid. Uh, but the elevators were like some of them were oh, like yeah. not being like weren't they were out of our service because mm-hmm. like we we're sharing there was like water, water. coming through yeah. you know but there was el- el- other other elevators where they were just taking so long because yeah. everyone's in, you know inside, inside. yeah but <laughs> finally one elevator is finally opened up. And there was a bunch of kids in there. Mm-hmm. And so we get inside there, whatever, like a bunch of youth and stuff. And they started serenading us. Yeah, they're singing. singing. And I looked at them, I'm like, um, I'm like, are you guys just going up and down the elevator singing, singing songs to people? people? And they're like, yep. yep. And we're like, because oh, cool. their club was closed. Their club was their closed. Clu- their club, I so, forget which one is Vibe or whatever, it was on the deck. Yeah. They couldn't so go So their activity <laughs> was just going up and down the elevator for hours. And it was just so I'm like, well, there's why some elevators take you forever. Because yeah. <laughs> they're, only... like, they're like, we take tips. I'm like, I bet you guys Anyway, do. so... But yeah, I think to answer your question, we wouldn't change anything different. I think it Can went I really good. Can I finish what I was saying yeah. before, though? Going back to what I was talking about with um, the deck being closed, when we picked up the boys from the kids' club after we had Paolo, we're like, well, let's get them fed, get them some lunch. Well, um, Cabana's was closed on the app. I looked at they closed at like 2 to a certain time. And so I'm like, well, let's go get a pizza or something. We couldn't get anything. So the only option we had was like room service, so we thought. But we found out later yeah. that they opened up cabanas yeah. during that time. So just so you know, if you guys ever go on a future mm-hmm. cruise and there is bad weather and the deck's closed, it sounds like they opened up cabanas, which mm-hmm. would have been, we didn't know that. That's cool. It would have been nice if, you know, the app changed. You yeah. Know, they, but I don't know. Yeah, anyway, that's yeah. a whole different thing. But, but that was open. But that and was then also open, they so. offered more, um, like, trivia. They offered more different kind of they did. shows just because they knew, you know, you couldn't go out on yeah. deck. So that's cool. Yeah. Just so you know, they do that as yeah. well. Yeah. It's a good tip because honestly, like we were like, what do we do? So we, room uh, we had to do room service, <laughs> but room service was like was like an hour and a half. Away it was such a long way because everyone was just you know doing that. So yeah, yeah. If it happens like that, just I would just check on cabanas and I just go in there. There's pro- it might be open. Yeah. Okay. I love this next question. Taking kids out of school to cruise to save money. Interested in a teacher perspective. Mm-hmm. So I we were talking about mm-hmm. this actually on the cruise. And, and we were talking about this just the other day. We were. We were. <laughs> so, so um, for starters, we usually like to, you know, do vacations around spring break times. Mainly, honestly, it was not because of taking land out of school. It was because of me as a teacher. Yep. If you're a teacher right now, you know it's so hard to get subs. So it's hard. Mm-hmm. So we always would get, you know, spring break, Christmas break, whatnot. Um, but it's expensive. Oh, like yeah. the flights, the flights are, are always insane. so Everything's insane. crazy. So crazy. Everything's inflated. Yeah. But, and it's literally like all March and April sometimes, I feel like. Because well, everybody's spring everybody's break, different. So, so like, because we're talking about this, we're like, well, because we're, we're trying to, we're planning a trip in a couple of years. Yeah. To like Hawaii or something. Anyway. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> but uh, we're talking about like, um, you know, like maybe some time in March, but we're like, you know what? She's like, it's March all is March. all expensive because yeah. everyone's spring breaks, spring are, breaks different. are different. Anyway, that's not the question. To answer your question, yeah. then to go back. <laughs> this is a coffee chat, so we can, we can go, you know. <laughs> we can go off a little bit. We can go off a little bit. To answer your question, I would say as a teacher, and I've talked to other teachers, yes, take them out of school. It's okay because honestly, I feel like they learn so much traveling. Like, yeah. they truly do. They do. Like, I feel like with our boys, I mean, we were in New Orleans, and there's some areas in there, you know, in Bourbon Street. They saw, you know, people on the streets, and Landon wouldn't even tell me. He's like, we're so lucky we have a house. So I was like, I know, and we got to talk to him about mm-hmm. things and talk to him about different cultures and lifestyles. And just, um, you know, they learn so much, you know, visually, and I feel like it, most people do. Yeah. And in the classroom, as a teacher, like I encourage that. I'm like, take your kids out, like show them, like there's so much we can do in the classroom, but taking them and actually living it out is another thing. And so I am all for it. Mm-hmm. Also, you know, it's like, just ask your teacher to like, hey, can we take any worksheets or do anything? You know, that's always helpful. Yeah. But I would never be like, oh, you need to schedule your vacations around our breaks. I don't, I don't really. Think I honestly, that's the every way to single go. time we take our kids, um, they always learn so much mm-hmm. about the world. Yeah. And so much, like Lacey said, about culture and yeah. and and it's also great because it's a time that we can actually focus in on our kids and be like, so, like, like we went to the children's museum, for yeah. example, mm-hmm. and so. Uh, but after that, you know, I got in a conversation with Landon about stuff he's learning at school. And yeah. so it was almost a time where we can all, as a family, kind of start kind of recapping and kind of figuring out what they're learning and mm-hmm. where they're at, you know, socially and 
um, yeah. you know, all that kind of stuff. And so, and then we yeah. can help them. Like we, I had, we helped Landon like a little bit like socially this last trip mm-hmm. of just how to like look people in the eye. And we're like, Hey, there's going to be people that watch you on YouTube. So mm-hmm. like look them in the eye and, you know, and say thank you or yes, please, whatever. Yeah. And so it's just, it's, it's good, you know, practice with that kind right. of stuff. Cause you hope that you teach your kids that and you hope when your kids go to school, they're getting taught stuff. But like Lacey said, when you're in these real life scenarios, mm-hmm. like are we doing a good job? Like, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, you know, so, when you're actually playing it yeah, out. Right. And Landon's in first grade, so I know he's young and homework level's not as much. And I know when kids get older, it's a little different. It gets but, different. So I, I do understand that. But, like, you know, we brought his book. His teacher's like, just read. That's what she told us. Because I'm like, he's going to miss two weeks. Yeah. One of them was spring and I say, break. you know, because we, so, we don't plan on stopping travel. It's part of, like, who we are yeah. as a family. And so when our kids get older and they're in high school and stuff, like, we're going to be definitely... Like you know, making sure that we're, we're we're traveling the right times when there's not like finals and yeah, things you know that are you know really we'll, we'll be sensitive to that. But end mm-hmm. of the day, like um, I have no problem taking our kids out of school for yeah. a vacation. And as a teacher, I would say I when I had students that were on vacation, I thought it was great. And honestly, it was well. They come very back beneficial. and they share the class about yeah. what they learned, what they saw, and the whole classic. Sometimes excited. they'd bring me gifts back. I was like, heck yeah! No, seriously, the <laughs> one of my is. students brought me back a Disney. <laughs> he went to Disneyland and brought me back like the Starbucks tumbler mug, and I was like, oh, you were my favorite student for the rest of the year. <laughs> it was so cute. And That's awesome. Anyways, just get get the teacher a gift, and you'll be good. You'll be good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this question is one of those questions where I feel like. It just depends on the season you're in. It is. And it's uh, early or late dining. Yeah. Now, uh, we had Landon, who was seven, Mm -hmm. Tucker, who was five, and Junie, who was like seven seven months. months. So we had a spread um, of young, of young. And yeah, and we did late dining. And we did late dining. Yeah. Um, Which, let's share the times for that. Yeah. I hate their times because it's like too early and too late, but whatever. You got to have it. The early dining's 545. Like that seems so early is it really sometimes. That? Yeah. Jeez. Last I checked, the late dining is 815. And obviously they need that time because the meals take a long yeah. time and prepare and stuff. So, so you don't you don't get out of dinner sometimes until like... We were there not, till late. Sometimes like... 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock sometimes. sometimes. Yeah. So it can be late. Mm-hmm. But then the 545, I feel like you're like right in the middle of doing yeah, trivia you're, sometimes you're at the pool. Or like, you like, know? I'm not ready to go to dinner. Like, oh, I'm like <laughs> in the midst of sunbathing. Like the sun is finally getting hold of my skin. Right. And it's like, hey, you need to go to dinner. I'm like, I no. I just right. ate pizza at Pinocchio's. Right. Exactly. That's the like, hard part. You're like, I want to be hungry. So this Anyways. is Anyways. <laughs> I like... I prefer... Late dining mm-hmm. because of that reason. Yeah. I feel like I can eat more mm-hmm. <laughs> on the cruise. Mm-hmm. I feel like I can enjoy the stuff on deck. Mm-hmm. Um, I can enjoy the day more. Mm-hmm. Uh, dinner is is way out there. So I feel like it's just like we have more time for some yeah. reason. Because I feel like when you have dinner, if it's early or late dinner, for whatever reason, you can just get tired after dinners. Even when we, well, ha- when yeah, we do you early can't dinners. Move because you yeah. ate so much. And so I've, even when we did early dinners, it was almost just like, oh, I'm not ready for bed. Yeah. And then you go in the, you know, and then you, you miss all the nighttime activities. But when you had late dinner, it was almost like you can enjoy the night activities, go to dinner, and, you know, maybe grab one, you know, show or something like that before you go to bed. Well, and also something to note, whatever time your dinner is, you go to the opposite if you want to go to the shows. So, like, yeah. if we had the late dining, we'd go to, like, you know, the Broadway, the Broadway shows show before. Be before. And then they would do one for those people that had early dining And I after. feel like I was always more awake watching the Broadway shows before right. than after. Then you're sitting there, like, full of food. Yeah, because like, at the 540, the early <laughs> dinner, you're, you're going to the show afterwards, and you're just like, oh, gosh. Okay, so now let's talk about okay. it with kids, though. No. Because we've, we've done both. Mm-hmm. Right? No, the last one we did was late dining too. We've done we've done late dining twice. But we've done early ourselves too mm-hmm. with Landon when he did his first yeah. one. And I think the the hard part with the show afterwards is it's like the kids are exhausted from the dinner, then they fall asleep in the show. But then if you do the <laughs> if you've seen our vlogs, you see Tucker falls asleep at dinner most meals too. But so they get the dinners way, out fast. They do. So they really do. So I guess it oh man, it I mean, do you have an answer? I would say for kids with like young kids, the earlier dining is easier because the hard part just with them is like they're hungry early. So by the time at 8.15, they're just, they are tired. They're ready just to go to bed. I mean, you know, it just kind of depends on the day too if they, Mm -hmm. you know, your kids take naps or whatnot. So like we said at the beginning, it depends on the season you're in. I do have to say I would lean more on the early dining with kids though. And obviously you can tell 
when you go to early dining, more families are there. Late dining, it's kind of nice because there's not as many kids. However, I think... So, I feel like they cater to us more because of that. I was thinking about that later because they mm. were great with... I mean, they're always great, but there's not many kids in the late dining. So, they were always like helping our kids and right on the ball with getting Junie's food. And I was looking around. I'm like, there's not a, as mm. many younger that's, kids. That's something to think about. So... You know? know? Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know, honestly. I <laughs> I like them both Yeah. for their different reasons, and it's hard for me. I think, though, on our, our next cruise, we're going to do early. We are. Because we haven't done early for a while, mm -hmm. and we're going to see how we like it. Yeah. Um, Especially with having three kids now. Right. Uh, But it, it works. I, I just feel like no matter what, you adapt. And I think, yeah. but again, I think it just depends on your family dynamic, too. Right. And just kind of know your kids and mm -hmm. how they're how they are and whatever and yeah. go from there. I think with our kids, like um, work okay if they just fall asleep on the on the chairs. Right. Like and we, some we don't care. But don't. if you don't want that, like then probably early dining. Yeah. And the thing with Junie too, she was like ready for bed at that time of the day, and she'd sleep in her um, stroller for the most part. But it was hard because it's loud too. So towards the end of the cruise, the last couple dinners, we ended up using the nursery because she was just ready to. Take yeah. a nap and stuff. Yeah. So. so that's true. Because yeah. Junie wasn't at dinners for a couple nights because mm -hmm. of that. You know. So yeah. yeah, I probably early, I guess, but there's still cons to that. So yeah. try it out. I don't think I honestly don't think no matter what you choose, I think you're still gonna have a great time. Yeah. You're gonna figure it out. So right. I, I wouldn't stress too much about it. Mm -hmm. I think though, if you're really, 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 really worried about it, I would just do early dining. I would too. Just do that. Yeah. Um, and then maybe the next cruise or whatever, just experiment with going with it with the late. Yeah. But if you're super anxious about it, don't be anxious. Just do early dining. Mm -hmm. You know, because that's kind of around ish dinner time you usually have anyway, around yeah. six ish or so. So. Right. Yeah. Is everything included food and beverage wise besides alcohol? Yes. yes. Except for like, like, uh, like popcorn, popcorn, candy, like candy, package things, and water like bottles, smoothies. Smoothies, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. That's extra too. But everything else is. Yes. So all the food that's on deck, ex 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 except for like the juice bar and stuff. But yeah. All the sodas. All the sodas. Yep. All everything. All mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so Lacey, let's talk about your gluten-free accommodations. Okay. So I didn't ask them too much with things. I know you can beforehand when you um, like. That's what I want to talk about. Like your, yeah. yeah, your wait, the, the the your staff, your wait, waiters and waitresses, they'll come and they'll be like, hey, like, is there any allergies? Yes. Yeah. And before online, you can fill that out yeah, too and too. say you have. But they a ver they verify as well, especially if there's nothing filled out. They'll make sure like any allergies. Right. Exactly. Be, before anything starts, and, <clears throat> and then you'll be like, yes, I have this, 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 or you have nothing. Right. And for me, mine's not an allergy. Like if something touches my food, I'm not gonna get like sick. It's not that severe. It's just I have to watch how much gluten I do because I will get. We very haven't sick. talked about this for a while, but like yeah. with Lacey, it, it, the best way to explain it, it's like it's like a a bucket. A bucket. Okay. <laughs> and this is a bucket. And when her gluten level level gets, you know, when she has a lot of gluten, the bucket fills. And then when it starts filling, that's when she feels terrible. Really bad. I really get bad. Headaches. headaches. I've, I'll throw up She'll sometimes. throw up. It's, it's bad. Yeah. You don't want her that level. So, mm -hmm. And she can kind of start filling when it's getting up. And we know because we've had too much gluten. Yeah. So if she just stops drinking gluten or eating <laughs> gluten, whatever, just <laughs> guzzling down gluten. Well, give me the, all the gluten. It's almost like there's a little teeny hole in, in the bucket. And so if it's not flowing all the time, it actually will just leak out. Yeah. And then she can then have uh, more. I have, yeah. Yeah. So when we were in New Orleans and I was I on my... Buy, I wonder if you can buy liquid gluten on Amazon and just like chuck it. <laughs> Give me the gluten. <laughs> I want it all. Um, when we were in New Orleans and I was on my like fifth round of beignets, I was like, I told Jess, I'm like, no more. Like I was fifth, feeling it fifth <laughs> so round. much. Yeah. But like, I can just feel it. I'm like, nope. Yeah. And so the whole next day I was like, no whole gluten for me. She just ate clean. Yeah. There was no gluten in anything. But anyways, answer your question. Yeah. They accommodate very well. And like even certain things on the menu, if I would see and you could ask them like, yeah. Hey, could you actually get, do this pasta gluten free? Or could yeah. you make this gluten free and take this out? They will do it for you. They accommodate. Yep. And since this is a, tra a trip recap as well, like mm -hmm. if you have babies, they puree things and they do such a great job with that. Like, yeah, um, and I don't know, like we, it was awesome. Like mm -hmm. we told the, the basically, uh, they would sit down with us after the meal and say, Hey, what do you want for dinner? 
next night? Like, do you want like mm-hmm. um, carrots or like what do you want? And so at least you go, oh, it'd be cool if we had this and this. Yeah. And they pureed it and there's boom right at the table when mm-hmm. they, uh, we sat down and that was so yeah. so cool. Also, Very nice. one of the nights I knew Junie was gonna pass out uh, early. And so I actually went to Cabanas, mm-hmm. and I don't know if this is a thing where they, this is a thing where they gonna accommodate all the time. Right. But I went to Cabanas, and this is when Cabanas was like. I I think it was closed. I don't think. Well, I would say it was probably around like six. I don't even maybe? know if they're served. I, I can't know. remember yeah. anyway. But I I asked one of the guys. I'm like, hey, is there any way like, you can puree some like I don't know what I said, and mm-hmm. like let me go check. They went back and, the. Their manager came out and he talked to me. He's like, "Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll do that." Mm-hmm. And they pureed it for us. Yeah, and the green beans. I yeah, think it was maybe yeah. green beans. And mm-hmm. so that way we fed her, fed her before that she before went to she, bed. Yeah, and I um, took her to dinner. So anyway, yeah. they just accommodated with that. So um, that was cool because we did that with uh, was it Tucker Land? I think we did it with both of them. Landon, but it's yeah. been a while. Mm-hmm. And so just kind of revisiting the whole baby Disney world, baby world, the whole Disney puree stuff. Mm-hmm. That is a thing, and they do a great job with it. So honestly, take advantage of that because it's it's, it's just super mm-hmm. nice. It so, really yeah. is. Okay, did your stateroom carpet get wet from the rainstorms? Crazy that this actually happened, but there was uh, several staterooms that actually got soaked, and some people's stuff got soaked. Like laptops. Like yeah, stuff bad. I there heard. was there was yeah. some that happened that was bad. Yeah. Because of the rainstorm. Mm-hmm. Luckily, our room did, did not, not get wet. No. We we're dry as a bone. So and, I was, good. and I was thinking about that too, because it w- this was a booked cruise, because we asked yeah. to actually move some things yeah. around with our room, and they're like, we're booked. We're completely booked. So I'm like, they definitely have to have extra rooms on hand, because you know they had to move people out of their rooms because of the floods. Yeah, I was, so I was about thinking that. about that. They, was they, like, they obviously wow. have. They have, they have to. They, they, yeah. they, it's it's full to the public, but they have to have these Keep setback those, stuff for reasons. Right. But no, nothing in, happened in our room. Crazy. Will you go on another cruise with us, Bryce and Crystal? <laughs> Absolutely. Let us know the dates. We will be there. <laughs> when is Vio Cruise 3.0? I don't know. <laughs> is the magic worth going out of your way for? Uh, I would say, I mean, if you want to do the whole fleet, yeah, it's a great one. That, and they I think have that's what it is. The Aqua Dunk. Which they have the Aqua Dunk and they have Rapunzel. I know, right? Oh my gosh. So that I was a great yeah. restaurant. I would I say loved yes. It. Yeah. I don't know. I, the, this is the thing with me, to be honest. Like, put me on a cruise boat anywhere, and I'm content. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, I just, I, yeah. I love cruising, and I love Disney Cruise. And even if it's the oldest ship in the fleet, it's a Disney I'll cruise. I'll be there. If you have the whole pick of everything, like, you know, maybe try the newer ships. I don't yeah. know. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I, 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 I love that question because I, get, I think it's a really good question. But for us, um, I guess the question is, would you go out of your way for it? I wouldn't go out of my way for it because there's so many ships. Right. I think I would just like, if it lines up to our vacation dates. Itinerary, and itinerary we want to do. do. But yeah. I wouldn't be like, oh man, I want to do like, I want to do the wish or I want to do like, I want to do like the the dream or something like that. Mm-hmm. Which those are the two we haven't yeah. done yet, actually. Yeah. Yeah. That so, we want to do. But mm-hmm. again, to Lacey's point, I think we would go out of the way for it because we ultimately want to hit all the ships. Yeah. So I think if we were in that season, then we would. Right. But normally we wouldn't. <laughs> It's a good question. We're so good at answering <laughs> these questions. Very clear. Has Lacey had any more sickness after getting off cruise ships? Oh, Ooh. good question. I did, actually. Yeah, she did. But here's the thing. Well, I'm wondering, because I felt fine getting off the ship in the airport. Because I, was I felt it too, actually, this time around. Yeah. But, yeah, I was a little, like, a little bit dizzy. But it, was, it wasn't bad. And then when we got off our flight, because we flew to Denver and then Denver to Boise, the flight after... From Denver to Boise, and we landed in Boise. I was like, I'm not doing good. Like it was bad. Mm-hmm. I could, like, I was just spinning probably for the well, next I mean, week. I mean, we would say. we had to go. We went it down and up flight. because the the wind was so bad coming dropping down to Boise that we had to. They had to circle around the airport several times. So we're going yeah. up and down, up and down, and the the you know it was just. Our kids' oh, ears, the kids were, ears were ki- freaking my out. My ears were hurting. Both of, our boys got ear infections off of that, and yeah. They, so, have, they have sensitive ears anyway, but yeah. But um, I think this is a tip that we're actually going to try out. Yes, our next we talked cruise. about this, and I and I'm just curious if it's going to make things better. Right, and I feel like it will, and that is we talk heavily about leaving a day, maybe even two days nowadays before a cruise. Yeah, like just you know set up camp somewhere, be ready for the cruise mm-hmm. because of all the cancellations nowadays, whatever. But we're even thinking. Of adding another day. Not flying out not the day flying you, out get, the off day the you get off. Yeah. 
And the reason why, A, it's always so annoying and a hassle. Well, it's stressful. Because the flights seem like for us anyway, for Boise, They're I don't know. So late. It's always so late. Or you can't do too early because you're like, what if we don't get off the ship in time? Because it yeah. takes forever to get off Disney That's ships. It. <laughs> so it's so, just like, it's hard. And then you're like, what do you do in the meantime? We've had to get hotel rooms before and you spend another like $100 for Luckily, your luggage. Luckily, Adam and Sherry Lake, if you don't yeah. follow Adam and Sherry, like stop, pause this video. Actually, just shut it down <laughs> and go over there and subscribe. And you can come back if you want. Uh... Welcome back. We're glad you're here. Anyway, so, uh, but they let us put all of our luggage in their room. Yeah. Which is awesome. But, you know, so we're not going to have that all the time. So, no. so anyway. Next time. Next time, we're going to just get a hotel. Yeah. And we're going to just, just chill. I feel like that'll be so good, though, for me, too, and all of us. Because, because you're on the ship. Because we're on land. Yeah. Then you get on land, and then you go back, back on the, the, the plane, plane every, so your, fast. Your whole, you know, everything's just freaking out. <laughs> yeah. We thought, like, getting off the ship and just getting... On land mm -hmm. and just kind of Staying like resting on that land. and then flying out. I think we'll will you know be better with yeah you know the boy's ears and mm -hmm. you know motion sickness and um, dizziness and all that kind of yeah. stuff. Yeah, but to answer your question, I did get dizzy. I ended up using the same stuff I got prescribed the last time, um, and it helped me. It didn't last as better. long at all. It did it not. Was a few no. days. Well, once I started taking it, it was better. So. Yeah, but that flight was yeah. pretty. It was pretty insane, and yeah. I even felt it too. And I normally don't feel that. So um, I think this will help. I'm excited to mm -hmm. see, like, I'm trying. I'm excited to test it out. Yeah. So our next cruise, we'll test it out and we'll let you know uh, how we like it. Mm -hmm. Guys, like, we have so many questions and we're not going to... And they're really good. They're really good and we're not going to get through them because we're trying to, like, recap it as well as answering questions. Right. Um, but here's another recap one that's good. Has Lacey had any... <laughs> no. <laughs> Maybe, Justin, because you're doubling questions is why we have so many questions. Here we go. More details on the nursery experience. We want Junie's review. Oh, Juniper. We'll go get her and yeah. she'll share. Yeah. No, but seriously. Oh, I have to show you guys something. Hold on. This is right behind us in our uh, studio. But look at Junie and Tiana. So here you go. This is the kind of stuff they do in the nursery. Yeah. Like, they are amazing. Again, if you watch our experience oh videos, gosh. I talked about it on the last day because they gave her a certificate for yeah. being the smelly, smelliest baby the on board. The smelliest? Smelliest. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> She's your child and smelliest. Um, but they were amazing. The Oh, my gosh. They... Um, they would also, I was going to share this earlier when we talked about the food, they would give um, snacks in the nursery so that she could have yogurt, she could do bananas, and they would uh, mash it up for her. And then if they're older, they've got like crackers and different things too, they would give them. And you can, they fill out, you can fill out a whole sheet saying like, you know, what time do you want her to take a nap? Or when does she take a bottle? How much? And they would follow it and they would tell me everything. Like they were just amazing. Yeah, they really were. And the nursery is an additional cost. Mm -hmm. It's a $9 an hour. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think it's totally worth it. And yeah. she had a blast. And so we could have a blast. And so, you know, if there's those times where, you know, she was just going to be restless and I, we were going to go to a show, too is like, she'd go in there. You it was feel, awesome. You feel so good about dropping your kid off because mm -hmm. for two reasons, A, you know, they're going to be safe. Yeah. Um, and the workers are amazing mm -hmm. and, they, and they're going to be all the love and care. And just mm -hmm. the fact when you bring your kid, they're just like, they're like, look, like, just have googly eyes over your kid. That's so they, special, yeah, you know? Yeah, right. But number two, you know that the kid's going to have a good time. Yeah. And she always came back super excited and smiley mm -hmm. and just like mm -hmm. rested and, you know. Yeah. I don't know. It was just, it was nice. But yeah, I can't rave about the nursery enough. I would totally utilize it if you are bringing an infant on board. And Juniper will have a video coming up soon with her review. Yeah. So. She vlogged the whole thing. <laughs> Is mm -hmm. Disney still worth the premium price tag? We also have another question that says, do you share the cost of things or how much you budget for a trip like that? I think we may put out like a like a video about just how we budget for trips. I know a lot of you have asked for that. And so, I don't know, let us know if you'd want that and uh, we can kind of share some tips mm -hmm. and tricks on that. Um, I still think that Disney is worth the premium price tag because of the customer service, uh, mm -hmm. just the ships, the, the, the Broadway show is like... They, it's just there's well, so much we've entertainment had, yeah we've had this discussion especially since we went on a, a princess cruise our last last year so we finally were able to compare it to something else because yeah. all we've known is disney and we're like man it's expensive compared to other cruise lines we've looked at but at the end of the day we're like man they're just food is top notch mm -hmm. and we've talked about that with other people that have done other cruises and they still with, go back to yeah. comparing about disney's food. and i would say even like if you have kids 
it's <sighs> it's no yeah. brainer. But even if yeah. you don't have kids, like we, the people are like, we the food is amazing, the customer yeah. service is amazing, like the, the shows, adult areas are amazing. Do- like so, I would say yes. I would say yes. I, I know would just it's expensive. Say, but yeah, yes. but this is how we budget for vacations. Is sometimes we just take a little bit longer saving for it. Right. And, I, and we'll talk more about how we how we do that. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's just like you know, like it's just it's a matter of months, right? It's a matter of how, how you know saving, mm-hmm. and so just you know, push it out a little bit yeah. more if you want to do, you know, that price tag. Right. Anyway, we can talk more about that if you guys like. Okay, this is a great question. After going on three of the five ships, what's your favorite now in terms of pools, restaurants, and lounges, etc.? That's a great question. Because mm-hmm. um, we've done Wonder, Magic, and Fantasy. Yeah. So I think as far as, like, the smaller ships go, I, I like the Wonder more than the Magic. Mm-hmm. Agreed. I'm partly biased. It was the first ship we went on, and I feel like the first ship you go on is always usually your favorite. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think if I chose, if I said, okay, I only can choose those three ships, I would do the Fantasy. Mm-hmm. I would too. I just like the bigger feel, I guess, of yeah. things. Um, I know there's more people, but I, I yeah. like the bigger feel of things. Yeah. I do have to say, as far as like lounges and stuff, though, like the Magic really needs to update their... Mm-hmm. Promenade Lounge, I think it's called. Yeah, because the, like the, the original Wonder one. is uh, is T is all Tia. yeah based on Tiana's because the restaurant yeah. and we what, kept what talking called? about that. Um, the let us know. You guys know what's yeah. called. Let us know what's called. But I love that area, yeah. and you can get beignets. And I feel like the Fantasy has really cool little lounge areas, and all of theirs like adult areas are really cool. Mm-hmm. So, so I, would you do the Wonder or the Fantasy then? I like the Fantasy better. Yeah. Yeah. I did too. Would you rather sail on a new ship or will you go back to an old favorite next time? Uh, we would do the new ship. Yes. Uh, we we yeah. would like to really do. We've we never done like the dream and for sure the, the wish. Either dream or the wish. Um, Love to do the wish. I think the dream would be cool because we would be able to like complete the old fleet mm-hmm. and then kind of looking to the new. Yeah. But if there's an itinerary for the wish that comes out that is good for us, then we would like doing the wish mm-hmm. as well. Uh, another question is, have you booked your next cruise yet we did do the placeholder so we have the placeholder uh, but we're not going to disclose um when our next cruise will be yeah so but we'll talk we'll, we'll talk it's in the we'll it's talk. in the works it is in the works would you ever consider going on a different cruise line nlc royal etc mm-hmm. disney is so no, expensive that's norwegian yeah yeah disney is very expensive we totally agree with 100%. you um mm-hmm. we actually have we yeah. we went on princess we actually have we'll, we'll link the vlog series below we Alaska. went with Alaska. Mm-hmm. We went with Adam and Sherry Lake, which we remember. Have you gone there? Have you subscribed to them yet? <laughs> uh, but we went with them, and we loved it. Was it was awesome. Absolutely loved it. Yeah. And so to answer your question, 100%. We love, we we love just cruising. cruising. We love yeah. cruising. Uh, we definitely like how Disney does a lot of things, but we know it comes with a premium price tag. Yeah. So if we want to just like us, like, get, us away, get away, we will go do it. We're going to do it. I think we would have such a hard time just us going on a Disney cruise because mm-hmm. we miss the kids. You always say we should just do one together. I'm like, no, I'm the like, whole no. time I'm like, the but, kids would love this. It's be, so hard. But our, our compromise <laughs> is well, we can go on like a different cruise line without yeah. the kids, so we can still get the cruise fix, but we're not so like, oh, the, the kids would love it. So I think the thing is our compromise is like if we if it was just us going on a cruise, we wouldn't do Disney, but we would do a different cruise line. Yeah. Uh, but if we had kids, we. We, because we, we would be okay with that. Like we wouldn't mm-hmm. miss. I don't think we we'd still miss our kids, mm-hmm. obviously, but we wouldn't miss them as much because we wouldn't be like, oh my gosh, there's Minnie Mouse. Like it'd be so cool if Junior <laughs> was next to her. We wouldn't miss them as much. Yeah, yeah. It was, you know, the meter goes down. A little and bit. again, we have young kids. You know, and they get older. I feel like we would totally take them on a princess cruise or something. Oh yeah. You know. I mean, I would I would take that. the kids on a princess cruise or whatever now. Yeah. But I think like it would be easier for us to cruise. Uh, non-Disney without kids. Agreed. Yeah. And Disney just accommodates so well with kids. Yeah. So well. So, yeah. Okay, guys. Thank you so much for giving us these questions. We really appreciate it. If we didn't get to your question, maybe we'll get to you next time. There's just a lot of them, which is awesome. I know. Um, yeah. But we just appreciate it. Anyway, yeah. we're going to end on this one. This was actually from uh, Jessica Braun. Uh, we love her as well. You should go check her out if you don't know who Jessica Braun is. Um, we'll link mm-hmm. her channel below too. They do um, a lot of Disney. They do a lot of Disney. Actually, yes. I'll link uh, her husband's Hi, right, channel as well. So I'll link both of them. Uh, anyway, but uh, she said, um, were, there, were there any like new discoveries mm-hmm. on the ship? Yeah. And I think this is a great way to end it. I mm-hmm. I think the one new discovery that we could really think of on the top of our head yeah. was the Indian food. Yeah. Like we didn't, didn't know. Didn't know you could do that. That you could like, you know, 
get, get Indian food for your whole table. Like it's off the menu kind right. of a thing. So yeah. you can say to your, your waiter stuff, hey, tomorrow or whenever, we would like to have Indian food on the table. Yeah. And they'll do it. Yeah. It so, was really good. So good. And it was really cool just because everybody was able just to kind of like all test it out together because it was the first time it's like a little, yeah. everybody in our table, we had a big table, has tried it. So, but again, that's not on the menu. I don't know how the legs knew about it. Adam and Sherry, I think they I were think, the ones. I think they, they actually done it before. What did they do it before? Okay. Yeah. So that was really cool. Yeah. And I would, be, I would do it again too. I thought it was really good. Yeah, oh, 100%. And, right, and you can also do additional to like ordering things on the menu. Yeah, because it was, it was, it was cool. we had uh, lobster, lobster night. that night, mm -hmm. and so like of course we went to lobster. Yeah. So we did that as well. Yeah. But uh, I think that was the, the newest discovery, other than yeah, like Lacey's the Cabana's thing when there was mm -hmm. a monsoon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, I mean, we already knew the puree kind of stuff. Uh, maybe I mean going to Cabana's and getting the puree. Yeah, that was new. Uh, that was that was new as well. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, I think uh, there's always like the new discoveries as far as like your kids go, mm -hmm. like kind of seeing like what kind of floats their boat kind of right. a thing. And, and it, it was crazy with Landon, like he just loved the veranda. Mm -hmm. Like he really enjoyed the veranda. That yeah. was his thing. Like he, mm -hmm. they, they love spending the night at, uh, you know, across the hall at auntie's room. Um, and so they, you know, after they would, he would, you know, come into our room and just was stoked about that every morning. Yeah. Just get out there and have his mm -hmm. shirt off and just like look out on the veranda. The yeah. Yeah. Um, I do think uh, another, I guess another, since we're on this topic, we're just, now it's all flowing. Mm -hmm. um, I think next time, if we had to get two rooms, we would really, really try to do uh, rooms that have conjoining rooms. Yeah. And we were trying to do that. We're trying to do as that as we shared before. Time. It and was so, a booked, very booked cruise. So. I, I'm not going to say that, like, we wouldn't do it again without that, but I mm -hmm. think we'd prefer it a lot more if we had conjoining rooms. Mm -hmm. Cause it was just kind of a pain in some ways because we left the boys clothes there, you mm -hmm. know, and sometimes we forget the key and all that kind of stuff. So if yeah. you're traveling and you have a party that's big enough, like I would really hunt for those conjoining rooms. And if you guys didn't know, some of you asked sometimes, who is, who is this Cassidy? This is my sister. Yeah. She travels with us. She also lives with us. So she's amazing and she helps out a ton with our kids mm -hmm. and she loves Disney too. So that's why our party is big and we need two rooms. Yeah. So, but... But that's Aunt, that's but, Aunt Cass. That's Aunt Cass. <laughs> and we have a lot of fun. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us and, again, mm -hmm. uh, giving us all these questions. Uh, it was fun to answer yeah. your cues. Mm -hmm. We love you guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.